Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another Year of the Dead video. This one is my review for The Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 12, Clear. Alright guys, just gonna be doing another video today. This one's gonna be doing another video for The Walking Dead. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing another throwback review for The Walking Dead. This one is for Season 3, Episode 12, titled Clear. So, uh, really, really happy with this one. Really happy that you guys uh, voted on this one. Uh, I was a pretty big percentage of you guys as well, too, that wanted to go ahead and see this one. So, definitely, I appreciate everybody for voting on this one. Uh, I love this episode. I absolutely love this episode. Um, as a matter of fact, it's one of my favorite episodes of Season 3. And it's probably at least a top 20, top 30 episode of the Walking Dead series for me. I really, really enjoy this episode. So, um, all right. Now, this episode, I kind of call this kind of like an offshoot episode, but by no means is that an insult. That is a compliment because it's very disjointed from the other episodes, I guess is what I'm talking about. But it is such an amazing standalone type episode. Basically, you've got Rick, you got Michonne, you got Carl that are out there looking for guns to fight the governor, right? So they're out there doing that. Uh, they go back to Rick's old hometown. And essentially, you've got uh, the guy with the backpack again, right? He's kind of begging them to stop and they won't stop. And um, we then see them going to King County. Now, uh, we see kind of, you know, all the destruction, the burnt bodies and stuff. We're kind of wondering what this is. We see like the crazy stuff written on the walls and all obviously we're kind of wondering what's going on and then we see the traps laid out right and then they're kind of walking around and all of a sudden they start getting shot at by a sniper so michonne then tries to sneak up the roof she's really really crafty as well too michonne is is awesome but anyway they keep going you've got rick he's hiding behind one truck morgan comes out and then out of nowhere carl ends up shooting morgan and it, you know knocks him out basically and when they take off the mask you get to see that it's morgan so I love that. It's like, uh, you know, Rick's like, is he alive? And Michonne's like, do we care? And then we see Morgan's face and Rick's like, yeah. Like, it's, just, oh man. Honestly, that reveal is incredible. I love it. So then they're taking him up the stairs. You've got the traps are laid everywhere. They're having to be careful. And, you know, we find out uh, through some of the maps and like some of the drawings that are in there that Rick's old house is gone. It's burnt out. And, you know, a lot of the, the houses are kind of gone, right? So you've got Carl in this one that decides to kind of go out on a mission and uh, get the one last picture that he knows is still intact of his family. And you've got Michonne that kind of comes with him. And we kind of get this, like, kind of, like, duo type uh, moment between the two of them where, you know, she helps him get the picture. They have to kind of get past the dead and stuff like that. And uh, Michonne says, like, you know, we're going to do it my way, that type of thing, right? So, really good. Uh, Michonne gets the one last picture that Carl uh, could ever get of his family. And she also takes the uh, rainbow cat with her, which, um, yeah, that was kind of funny. So, uh, she said she was going to go back there in, in there anyway. So, she's like, I may as well, right? So, anyway, uh, that's that. Really like that. And uh, we then get Morgan and Rick. So, oh my god, man, this was insane. Uh, Morgan wakes up, obviously attacks Rick. He, you know, tackles him to the ground, and I really like some of the lines, like, do you know who I am? Do you see who I am? People wearing dead people's faces, like, it's, it's just, I, I don't know, man, the way that these two just, the on-screen chemistry these, these two have is some of the best for me, honestly. I love the performance with Andrew Lincoln and Lenny James in this one, um, and it's been like two years since they acted together at this time, and they just jump right back into it, and it's better than ever, I swear to God. But he stabs Rick, basically, because he says that you don't clear and I don't know anybody anymore and that type of stuff. And Rick gets the upper hand, tries to kill him with a gun. And Morgan holds his hands and he's like, please kill me. I'm like, damn. I mean, that's a reaction like, you know, that's a reaction that's like, no matter who you are, you wouldn't, you can't help but like put the gun down, you know? I mean, seriously, like I just, oh man. And we then find out what happened with, uh, Dwayne apparently they were in a cellar he had his gun up and the mom was there zombified but he couldn't do it and you know according to Morgan he saw it go down and he was just frozen like he did not know what to do he just watched this happen and saw it go down 
and you know obviously uh, he saw red right blood and all that stuff and um oh man really tragic story obviously you got the numb nuts out there that keep saying that Dwayne's alive I think it's absolute bogus to be honest I don't think it's true at all but um in, in particular because look at the writing here look at the performance like if that was fake all this time I would I would lose my mind I know there's a whole bunch of people that's like oh my god Dan what if Dwayne's alive I'm like bro people he's not alive like if he's alive, this episode would actually be ruined, and I don't want that. I love this episode so much. So anyway, they find they Rick basically figures out that he's mentally he's he's gone. He's he's beyond saving. So they take the guns, right? And I, I actually really like it too because I love that Morgan says, like, you know, you're taking a lot of guns, Rick. Why do you need the guns? Because if you got a place that's so good, why do you need all these guns? You know? It's because people are you know trying to take it from me, you know? And um I just love that and it's like people they always die and you know you know you see it all the time Rick like your wife but not me because I'm not gonna watch that happen again you know and it's just oh it's it's such great dialogue I love it it's so good I honestly wish I could go over it for like 30 minutes and just go over every little part but it's so good I love it so anyway uh, Rick takes the guns Morgan's gonna stay here he's again just mentally gone and uh, they go back and I actually really like the scene with Rick and Michonne where he says do you mind driving because I see things right so um because you know well let's just say it kind of it kind of makes sense Rick's not exactly doing so well either right now because of the death of Lori so um you've got the music lead me home as they drive away and they see what's left of the guy that was on the road they pick up the backpack and they leave amazing so and I love how the episode comes, you know, full circle. I love stuff like that. So this was an excellent episode. I have no flaws whatsoever. Great character development for Morgan, Rick, the scenes with them. Michonne and Carl were really cool. Really enjoyed the music. Really enjoyed the dialogue. Really enjoyed everything. I mean, the shootout, the, the shock and awe, the nostalgia with King County. I mean, it's so, so good. Honestly, I think it's such a great episode. And it's personally one of my favorite episodes that's bottled off like this, like a bottle episode in the Walking Dead franchise. I think it's, yes, in the entire franchise. I think it's so brilliantly done. And honestly, um, we need more episodes this tier, this this type tier of episodes. Um, because I love stuff like this. So anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Definitely uh, suggest some more new episodes in the comment section below that I'll add to the poll for next week. And that is it for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Right, comments, comment section below. And of course, guys, if you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button to know some videos for uh, The Walking Dead. Fall dance, walk review, so much, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys very soon for another video for The Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.